What's up badass Black Desert Mobile fans? In today's video, I'm going to be covering Gear Awakening. What is it? When's it coming? And how do you do it? Gear Awakening offers some serious CP gains. I mean, you're talking 1500 or more. This is going to be super important for when West Valencia comes out. I'm going to cover all of it plus more. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure you check out the description down below for additional badass Black Desert Mobile content. You won't be disappointed. And with that being said, let's dive right in. All right, up first to find Gear Awakening it is at the blacksmith. It's the same button you would t you click to craft any options. It's the bottom right option there. When we get it globally, it might be a little bit different because we're not going to have some of the other options. But if you click on that, you're going to see two different tabs at the top. The first one's going to be for weapon, offhand, and then all your armor. And then the second tab is actually going to be for all of your accessories. And you can awaken all of this gear, all of your gear, weapons, offhand, armor, gloves, helmet, boots, and all of your accessories. Now to do this, each one of these is going to come equipped with a quest. These quests are going to vary from killing 5,000 mobs to 7,000 mobs. Sometimes you have to kill them in Field of Valor. Sometimes you have to go and do the world boss 10 times. It's just, it's just a bunch of varying quests. Make sure you do them. They are super easy. Now, once you have those quests done, you don't ever have to do them again. They are done. You can then choose to awaken any gear that falls under each of those categories. So if you, you know, have alt characters and you awaken that gear for one character, you can then awaken that gear again for whatever that piece of gear is for the next character. The only thing that's going to cost is silver. Awakening each piece of gear does cost silver. Depends on what that piece of gear is. Is if it's orange two uh, one slot, it's going to be cheaper. So this orange two slot right here cost 18 million i do have the orange three slot right there that cost 52 million so the gin laverto right there cost 52 million so you want to make sure first thing you want to stockpile for is silver you want to make sure you save enough silver to be able to awaken all of your gear after you have those quests done because there are some serious cp gains for this piece of gear right here it's increasing your ap by 36 plus 42 and it's increasing your dp by 19 that's uh you know 659 total or 61 i'm sorry 61 cp increase for that one piece of gear now that's just off of the gear increase we're going to talk about another way how this drastically increases your cp here in a second but that's just this piece of gear you could do this for every single piece on average it's about 40 to 50 cp gains probably closer to 50 cp gain when you awaken each piece of gear and there's six pieces of armor and then five accessories. So that's 11 total pieces at 50 CP gains for each. You're looking at about 600 CP gain just from awakening the gear. So I'm going to awaken some of my pieces of gear here to show you what it looks like. It's pretty sweet. Now this is red gear or this, this was an orange gear. I do end up doing my red gear here. So you can see the CP gain I got for that. It was like 50 we're going to do this ring. So the CP gain for this ring is 15 plus 32. You're looking at 47. So 47 CP gain for the ring. We're going to go ahead and awaken that bad boy as well. We're going to awaken all of these. So I know a lot of people are wondering when is gear awakening coming? And I don't have a definitive answer. I don't have like any inside scoop. I can only make predictions. So you can't go home and quote me on it. Don't go in the comments bashing me saying I was wrong. However... I believe Gear Awakening is coming soon because West Valencia is coming soon. And the reason that they want to give us Gear Awakening relatively at the same time as West Valencia is because the CP increases of that territory is it goes all the way up to 10,000 CP. And obviously the highest we have right now is like what, a little under 8,000 CP. So they need a way to increase our CP even for the free to play. So, you know, I'm at 5,600 CP on my main account. And if I was to pop over into West Valencia, I'd be able to do the first three territories. Obviously, as I level up my character, he's going to get stronger through the levels. I mean, it's like 20 to 30 CP gain per level from 70 to 80. So you're looking at a couple hundred CP gain to get to 80, but they still need to offer another way to increase our CP. So if they come out with Gear Awakening, I mean, this is going to give you the opportunity to awaken your gear, give you that 500 to 600 CP gain right away. Plus, you have the opportunity to enhance all or enchant all of these pieces of gear an extra two times as well. I'm going to cover that in a second. 
but this is an opportunity to increase your CP by about 1500. So if they give us this, that's going to put me as a free to play player, you know, I'm probably, you know, a little bit above average, probably not like crazy above average, but about 7,000 CP that's going to put me, I'm going to be able to get halfway through West Valencia with that, even with all that. So that's not even going to get me all the way through. So I feel like Gear Awakening is going to come relatively soon. I mean, within the month, West Valencia is going to come within the month as well. They're also going to be bringing us insignias as well as uh, it's like a third relic type and those will be coming. I don't have a prediction on when those come. The insignia is going to come when Path of Glory comes. So whenever we get that, the insignia adds 400 plus CP just for the one piece by itself. You do have to get Path of Glory done in order to get that and then upgrade it. But that is another big CP gain as well as another third type relic. It's not called that specifically, but it pretty much does the same thing. So here's a quest here you can pick up. It does also offer experience and as you saw there, the four stones. So each one of those quests does offer the, the mini rewards as well. So it's great. Up next, I'm going to cover the second way that this can dramatically increase your combat power. And that's through gear enchanting. So whenever you gear awaken your gear, it opens up two additional uh, enchantment slots. So all of your gear right now has the two slots. You know, you got it to plus 10, plus 12, if it's red, plus 15, or maybe you're sitting at a plus eight or plus 10, which is great CP gains. However, when you enchant the gear after it's gear awakened, those two extra slots have the opportunity to increase the CP by up to plus 30 or plus 40. I also want to mention that both of these slots for all gear only come with AP or DP options. There's no movement speed or any branch damage options on the two extra enchantment slots, and that's effective for all gear, whether it's the boots or the helmet or the gloves, you're going to be able to shoot the chance to choose between AP or DP. So for this example right here, it's giving me the chance to either get a plus 11 all the way up to a plus 34 DP for that slot. So the top slot is AP, the bottom slot is DP, but up to plus 34 and there's two slots, that's an extra 68 CP plus the 50 gain. So that's an extra, we'll say 120, 25 roughly combat power increase times 11 you're looking at 1500 cp increase in total it is a huge increase now the second thing you want to pay attention to here and prepare for if you notice at the bottom down there is the cost of each of these so now an accessory now this is a red one that's going to still cost a little bit more than you know your orange accessories but the orange accessories increase to 1500 of the essence and the the gear increases to 1500 of the residue so that's up from 100 and up from 250. So that's like six times, seven times more than they previously cost in the residue and that magical essence. So you wanna make sure you stockpile essence and residue. And then secondly, if you notice there, the silver cost is a lot higher as well. So silver is gonna be uh, heavily weighted with this new upgrade. You're gonna need a lot of it to a gear awaken and the residue slash essence is super important as well. So to recap, you're gonna to need to go to your blacksmith, pick up the quest there when this comes out, go and knock out all the quests. Make sure you have silver stockpiled. You're gonna need at least probably five to 750 million silver to enchant all your gear and awaken all the gear. So save up your silver, come in here, pick up the quest, go and knock out all the quests, then come back here, enchant or awaken your gear, awaken your gear. Then you're gonna to wanna to go over and enchant your gear. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to save up is a lot of magical residue and essence. I mean, you're talking hundreds of thousands if you potentially can. I mean, you're talking 1,500 to enchant the orange gear. And if you have red gear, it's costing 5,000 each of those, as you can see at the bottom down there, like I have on this account for this server. So you wanna make sure you stockpile those. They are super important, as well as a lot of silver. That is everything for Gear Awakening though. I hope that helps you guys out in preparing and giving you a little bit of an insight on what is to come. I will be coming out with that insignia as well as that third relic video to give you guys a little bit more insight on some CP as well as the Black Sun and the Zodiacs and all that other good stuff that is still out in the, uh, you know, the, the Korean and Japan servers that we don't have yet. So make sure you hit that like if you enjoyed this video and if you're new and you want to see more of that content, hit the subscribe button. I super appreciate it. And with that being said, I will see you next time.